Well, hello. Good evening. How are you? Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Fine, fine. fine. Thank you. Okay, great. Great. Nice to see you here in class. We'll begin in about one minute at 8 o'clock sharp. Let's see. Wait for some people to join. Let me see. Mm -hmm. So how was your day today? Hmm? How was your day, Mr. Amilcar? How was your day today? It was very fantastic, Mr. Henry. Okay, great. It was very, very nice. Okay, great, great. Thank you. What about you? I've been great, busy, busy, right? But that's good. <laughs> Stay busy. Okay, very busy. Yes, but today will be the last day for for you, for this week. Okay, so you can have Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, right? Sunday, three days. Okay. Three days. Three days. Let me see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let me see. Okay, let's begin. We are about to begin, so get ready. We can discuss some of the topics for today. We will finish okay. a little bit of the modal verbs, a little bit different usage, right? Un poquito uso, a little bit extra outside of just health, health, the salud, right? Go a little bit beyond, más allá, right? A little bit beyond that. And just a small exercise is very okay. short. And then we're going to start the uh, section three. Okay. Section three, where we have uh, so, to, either, neither. Neither. Right? neither. Yeah, I'm pretty sure some of you are having alguna dudas, right? A little bit of doubts. But we will cover that today. And if need be, if need be, we can continue a little bit more on Monday, okay? We still have Monday and Tuesday to finish unit section three, section three, okay? Section three has to be okay. finished or covered by Tuesday of next week. So we have time. We're doing good, we're doing good. We're doing, we're moving uh, in a very stable form. So let me see. All right, like I said, what is today's date? My Jordi. Today is Tuesday, July 20. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, today is Tuesday, uh, July 22nd, 2021. Okay, okay. Great, great. <laughs> Lily. Hello, good evening. Hi, welcome. Thank you. Today is Thursday. Thursday. July 22nd, 2021. Okay, thank you, Lily. Okay. Maria Jose. Today's day is Thursday, July 22nd, 2021. Very good, very good. Veronica Aldana. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hi, can you give us today's date, please? Um, what? Mm, la fecha. Today's date. Um, um, 
Lo voy a practicar, teacher. Ok, no problem. Ok, thank you. <coughs> Let me see. Dina. Hi. Good Hi. evening, teacher. Hi, welcome. Uh, to, uh, today is Tuesday, July uh, 22nd. Uh, 2021. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. Mr. Amilcar. Okay, today is Thursday, 22, 2021. Okay, close, cerca. Let me see. July. Ah, okay. July. <laughs> okay, okay. July. repeat it again. Redeem yourself. Oh my God. Uh, today is Thursday. Uh, July 22, 2021. Okay, cerca. Pretty good, pretty good. <laughs> Roberto? Adonai? Good, good evening. Hi, hi, welcome. Today's date. Which one? Today is Wednesday, July 22, 2021. Okay, dele Roberto Adonai. Repeat. Today is, today is Wednesday. Thursday, perdón. Ah, Thursday, eh. July. <laughs> okay. He's like, yeah, you're still asleep. You're still asleep. You barely wake it up. All right. so, Thursday, July 22nd, 2021. Okay, very good, Roberto. Okay, the other Roberto, Garcia. Good evening, teacher. Hi, welcome. Uh, today is Thursday. July 20, 21, 22, teacher. Mm, you tell me. You tell me what day is right? Okay. All right. Uh, 22, teacher. Okay, close, close. Okay, cerca. Uh, Remember, uh, ordinal numbers. 22nd. 20, uh, 22nd. 20, 22nd. 20, 22nd. Yes. Second. Yes, 22nd. Thursday, July 22nd. Thursday, July 22. No, no, it's 22. 22. Okay, hay mucho ruido ahí, Roberto Garcia. Okay, let me see. Veronica, eh, can you give us today's date, please? Veronica Aldana. Hello? Hi, can you give us today's date, please? Thursday. De que lo va a decir, lo va a decir. Thursday. <laughs> okay, Thursday. July. Thursday. July. July. 22nd. 22nd. 2000. 2000. 21. 21. Very good, Veronica. Pudo. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Good job. Okay, so today is Thursday, July 22nd, 2021, or 2021, okay? 2021. Remember, when we use the date, we use ordinal numbers. Usamos números ordinales for the date, okay? Remember that. Tomorrow will be 23rd. Mañana no sería 23, sería 23rd. Third. All right. Let me see who can I call on. Roberto Adonai, can you read the topic, please? Okay. Uh, moral verbs exercise. Exercises. Exercises. Very good. Uh, use, usage. 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 Usage of two. So either neither. Very good. All right, so we're going to cover those topics today. Estos temas hoy. Okay, so be prepared. Let me see. Now, with the motor verbs, we're just going to we're just going to do a small practice. Okay, just to refresh a little bit, and this is just going to be a small activity. Small activity. Now, as you can see here. Let me see, Lily, 
Yeah, can teacher. You, can you read number one? Just the statement. You, yes, I can. Okay. You want? You want to borrow my bicycle. Okay, very good. You want to borrow my bicycle. Now, bicycle. Very good. And at the side, a la par que, que motor verb está? What motor verb do you see? Can. Can, or can right? Can. <clears throat> now remember, we saw can, could, and may, right? Recuerdan esos tres yesterday? Can, could, and may. Now we're going to use it in a different way. Same, same style, but without health. Pero no es solo el tema de salud, salud, okay? We're just using it in a different, in a different context. Now, how would you say, just out of, out, of, out of curiosity, how would you form this using can? Si la quiere hacer en pregunta, right? Remember, it's a question here. It's a little bit different. Vamos a ver. Dun, 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 dun. How would, you, how would you ask the question? Si esto es lo que queremos decir a forma afirmativa, in the affirmative way, how would you write this in a sentence, pero dando siempre, using the same verb? Teacher. Yeah? Me, teacher. Go ahead. ¿Quién es mi teacher? Uh, Roberto de Paul. Okay, go ahead, Roberto de Paul. Uh, for example, can you borrow my bicycle, please? Mm, pero aquí dice your bicycle. Tiene que terminar con eso. Ah, ok. Can you borrow me your bicycle, please? Cerca. Close. Vamos a ver a alguien más. Someone else? Sure. Yes. Okay. Um... Okay, can, can I get... use your bicycle? Mm -hmm. Can I borrow your bicycle? Ah, please? very good. I oh, see, utilizaste la verb. Yes, that is correct. Repeat it, please. Can I borrow your bicycle, please? Excellent. Can I borrow your bicycle, please? The statement says, Tu quieres utilizar mi bicicleta? And then you would say it in question. Can I borrow? Your bicycle. So, aquí estamos usando ya critical thinking, right? Pensamiento crítico. So, you will say, can, remember yesterday, yo les dije, can, could, and may, and how to use it at the beginning of the sentence. ¿Se acuerdan? At the beginning, at the beginning of the sentence. So, can I borrow... Y luego lo demás, your bicycle, please. Now, we did number one. What about number two? Okay. Let me see. Could I look at your photos? Okay, who said that? Roberto Guevara. Okay. Can you repeat it, please? Could I look at, at your photos, please? Very good. Excellent. Good job. So number two will be, remember, yo le dije ayer, use it as a subject, right? Could. Not as a subject, but at the beginning of the word. Could. I look. I look. And then the compliment. Add your photos, please. So that is number two. Very good. Number three, number four, and number five. Lo van a hacer ustedes. All right. I want you to send it to me. Esto me lo van a, a, a mandar a... Mm, send it to, to the group. Send it to the group with your complete name. Quiero su nombre completo. Three, four, and five. Three, four, and five. Okay? Only the answer. No más, pero la quiero completa. Ejemplo. Can I borrow your bicycle, right? Okay. 
Okay. So when you send me the answer, cuando usted me manda la respuesta, va a estar completa. All right. Así como la número uno. Can I borrow your bicycle, please? Okay. No, no más el espacio. Complete. So number three, something to eat. Va a venir al final. It's going to come at the end. Number four, with your Nintendo, please. Number five, your new car, please. I want you to put the number. Number three, number four, and number five. Quiero la numeración, su nombre completo, in your notebook. Remember, captura. I do not want text. I want you to write it in your notebook. Pienso que ya todos tienen su cuadernito. Three, four, and five. Now, if you want to send one, two, three, four, and five, si quieres mandarme las completas, you can. You can. And then... Recuerden, what comes at the end? What comes at the end? Que viene al final de estas oraciones? How do you call it? Hmm? Like a... El signo. Ajá. ¿Cómo, like le a, uh, ¿Cómo le llamamos ese signo? Question mark. Very good. Question mark. Si no lo tienen o primera vez que lo escuchan, escríbanlo. Question mark. Mark, I'm going to write it for you. Okay, so we have to question mark. Ya para que sepan porque cuando no se pregunta, so you can know it already. Question mark, that's what it is. Question mark. When you finish, you can send it to the group. This is fairly easy. Okay, let me see. For the moment, I only have two. Okay. So you have about two minutes. Two minutes to finish. If you do not finish, then you send it to me when you have time. Cuando ya tengan tiempo. Right. That's what I'm giving you two minute max. So if you want to take a picture, una captura, you can, but you will send it to me. Let me see how many, how many are there? 21, 21. So I'm being two, 21 of you. All right, 21 connected. So I need 21. Okay, I only have five. Less than one minute, so we will continue. Uh, if you don't finish, send it to me after class or during the class if you have time to do it. Okay, let's continue. Next topic. Let me see. Okay. Now, on the next topic, we are going to focus on to and so. Okay? To and so. Let me get that. Esto. All right. 
to and so here what we're going to do is we're going to look at all the videos in the platform they're very short so I'm going to share that with you and then we're going to do some activities Okay. Are you ready? One, two, three. Hi, welcome to another section. This time we will teach you words of agreements. Please copy the following words in your notes. So, to, neither, either. Listen and practice. Say, would you like to go out to dinner tonight? Sure. Where do you want to go? Well, what do you think of Indian food? I love it, but I'm not really in the mood for it today. Yeah, I'm not either, I guess. It's a bit spicy. Hmm, how do you like Japanese food? Oh, I like it a lot. I do too. And I know a nice Japanese restaurant near here. It's called Aroha. Oh, I've always wanted to go there. Terrific, let's go. Okay. Did you notice how they use either and to in the dialogue? Excellent. Now what I want you to do is to practice the conversation with a friend. Well, okay. what do you think? Now, what I want you to do is you're going to practice the conversation, but you're going to do it in pairs, in pairs. But is every, does everyone have good connection right now? Para hacer esta actividad? Everyone have good connection. If you don't, let me know. That way your classmate doesn't stay like waiting for you. Okay. So you're going to practice this conversation. And remember, take a screenshot. Le pueden tomar una captura. You can take a screenshot because you, you can uh, share screen whenever you go in breakout rooms. Okay. So I'm going to give you like three, like a few seconds to take a screenshot or a picture that way you can share it with your classmates you're going to practice the conversation in breakout rooms let me see okay you can practice. i'm going to put you in three just in case or si acaso, just in case someone loses connection and you don't stay by yourself. So I'm going to put, I'm going to put you in groups of two, eight groups, two or three. Okay, one, two, three. Practice the conversation. Remember, you can share screen. Pueden compartir pantalla. Hello, uh, Elaine Barrera. Good evening. Hi, what happened? What I happened? have bad connection. No. Sorry. Okay, let me put you. Okay. Put your room two. Okay. Can you enter now?
like Japanese food? Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. I do too. And I know a nice Japanese restaurant near here. It's called Iroa, Irona. Iroha. 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 Okay. <laughs> um, I always waiting to go there. Terrific. Let's go. <laughs> okay. If you want now, I'm Jeff. And who will be Bob? I'll be Bob. Say, would you like to go out to dinner tonight? Sure. Where do you want to go? Where? 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 Yeah. Where? Well, what do you think of Indian food? How did you oh, like Japan? I like food? it a lot. I do too. And I know a nice Japanese. Scarlet, I oh, I always wanted to go there. Terrific, let's go. <laughs> okay. Terrific, terrific. Terrific, terrific. Let's yeah. go. No, oh, very good, Tina. Perfect. Okay, great. Okay, welcome back. Everyone's joining, coming back to the main session. Okay, let me close breakout rooms. Now, now you did a little bit of reading, a little bit of speaking, and now let's do a little bit of grammar. All right? Let's go with the next video okay let's look at the next one we're doing 3.3 .3 because it's related they are united these are like with the same topic so too neither and either now let's look at this one two three let's hear it auxiliary two hi did you copy the agreement words very good now we'll teach you when to use each Try to make sense of what you see on the following chart. Don't go as we walk you through the use of so, to, neither, either, and more examples. So, to, neither, either. I like Japanese food a lot. So do I. I do too. Really? I don't like it very much. I'm crazy about dessert. So am I. I am too. Oh, I'm not. I can eat really spicy food. So can I. I can too. Really? I can't. I don't like greasy food. Neither do I. I don't either. Oh, I like it a lot. I'm not in the mood for Indian food. Neither am I. I'm not either. Really? I am. I can't stand fast food. Neither can I. I can't either. Oh, I love it. The use of to and so to agree with something being said to us. In English, we can use to or so in short answers to show we agree with something or someone. 
Notice we use the auxiliary verb of the short answer of the statement being said to us. For example, I am hungry. Okay, I'm going to pause it right here and just add something. Remember what she said. We use these for short answer. Short answer. You, you're not going to say, I am hungry. I am, right? And you're going to add repetitive of the words. You're going to just answer, I am too, or so am I. But this is what you have to keep in mind. Whenever you have the verb to be, you are supposed to answer with the verb to be. Okay? For here, it's just a regular verb. So you're going to answer with do. Here, we have, what is this? An auxiliary, but it can also be used as what? Modal verb, right? A possibility. I can, yo puedo. Remember, modal verbs, you can take them out. I play chess. I can play chess. So if you notice here, the auxiliary, también used as a modal verb, is used in your short answer. I can too. I can too. Here, I am hungry. I am too. Or, so am I. Remember, you can write this two different ways. Lo pueden escribir de dos diferentes formas. Es lo mismo. It's the same thing. But, it's just giving you a variety of options of how to use the English language. Okay? So, you're like, no, yo no más me sé esta. Well, now you have another option. Okay? So you can sound more, more professional and more advanced, okay? So you have different options in the usage of the English language with to and so. I am hungry, I am too. Oh, so we use the so, so am I, okay? So we're, I just wanted to pause that to, to give a little feedback. Let's continue. I am too. So am I. I love apple pie. I do too. So do I. Notice here, aunque no esté el do aquí, we use it because we're using a regular verb in simple present. I do too. Right? That's for all of them. For example, if I say an example right here, Maria Jose, I like pizza. So do I. Ah, very good. Excellent. And what is the other one? The other option? I do, I do too. too. Ah, very good. I do too. So do I. Very good. Excellent. Perfect. I can play chess. I can too. So can I. If you notice here, can, can, right? The auxiliary or the motor verb. I can not play, but this one can. I can too. So can I. Now, what about si no tuviera el can aquí? I play chess. I do too. I do too. Very good. So That... am I. Huh? So do I. So am I. No, no utilizamos un, un verb to be aquí. So do I. So do I. So do I. Remember, If it's just a regular verb in simple present, we use do, do. Very good, very good. The position of to is right at the end. Follow me. Subject, auxiliary, to. The position of so is right at the beginning. Follow me again. So, auxiliary, and a subject. Uh. Now let's study the use of neither. For those of you that were trying to write, que están tratando de escribir la estructura, trying to write the structure, I have it on the PowerPoint also, okay? So don't worry if you didn't write it, okay? And either. Now we're going to look at neither, either. How do we use neither and either? ¿Cuál es la estructura? What is the structure? How do we use it? When do we use it? Let's look. 
To show agreement with negative statements, we can use neither and either. We also use the auxiliary verb of the short answer of the statement. Pay attention to the following. We use the negative auxiliary when we use either and the positive auxiliary with either. Follow the examples. I am not hungry. I am not either. Neither am I. I don't dance salsa. I don't either. Neither do I. I can't swim. I can't either. Neither can I. Okay, let me rewind this just. Okay. With the formula so you understand it better. Subject plus negative auxiliary plus either. Notice either goes at the end. Neither plus positive auxiliary plus subject. Notice neither goes at the beginning. Swim. I can't eat. Okay, here we have. Okay. Remember, neither and either when we're talking about negative or we are going to combine the negative with either. Vamos a ver el ejemplo. Let's look at the example. Is this a negative statement? Yes. Right? Automatically, we see not. Right? No dice, I am hungry. Dice, I am not hungry. Que no está. Right? You're not hungry. I am not hungry. I am positive, right? I am, that's positive. And then we have not. Using the same not here. Let me do this real quick. Okay. You see here the not? Not. All we do is bring it down. I am, I am, I am not either. Either. That is when you use either at the end. It comes at the end. Now, look at the next one. Neither, neither am I. Neither am I. ¿Por qué el M? ¿Por qué M aquí? Because we used it in the sentence. I am. So we have to use it in our short answer. Aquí sí. Yo sé que el I casi no se mira, but it's there. Neither am I. Now. Can you read the next one, please, Majori? I don't dance salsa. I don't eat it. Either. Neither do I. Either. either. Very good. I don't either. Neither do I. Excellent. Very good. So remember, I don't either. Neither do I. Either. You can give neither two different. I. Neither do I. Two different answers, okay? I don't dance salsa. Neither do I. All right? Neither do I. Yo tampoco. Right? Neither do I. Majori, would you like... Uh, Maria Jose, thank you. Majori, would you like to do the next one, please, Maria Jose? Ya que levantó la manita. All right. No, I, I have a question. Ah, okay. <laughs> Can we say me neither? <laughs> Like an answer. And yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, you can. Okay. But it's a little bit more informal. Okay. Ah, okay. But you can still okay. use it. Okay. Maria Jose. Me neither. You can mm -hmm. use me and todas. Me too. Me too. También. Con el, eh, el too. Me too. Right. But it's, it's okay to say it, but it's a little bit more informal. Right. Me too. It's just shorter, but the other way is the more formal way okay but yes esa es la más común me too me too me too me too all right me too me too all right uh me neither me neither right that you're you're correct maria it's no there's no problem with that but let's try to advance with a little bit more uh, formal but you are correct i use it too right grandma i use i use that <laughs> form of language too okay so that's good now you have now you have three options Right? Ahora tiene tres opciones, right? You have three options. Now, Teacher. Eh, is, entonces, entonces la diferencia, teacher, mm -hmm. entre either and neither sería que el either lo utilizo eh, solamente cuando hay una negación en la oración. Exactamente, y va al final. Y va al final. Exactamente. Y neither se inicia. 
Exactamente. Y neither ya automáticamente ya empieza de forma negativa. Okay. Yo estaba viendo un video en YouTube que también en neither se puede pronunciar. Tiene dos pronunciaciones. Como ok, va. Ok, va. Let me see. You have this word neither. You have American accent. And you have British. Ok. Remember, some of the videos. Even, I'm going to be honest with you. Voy a ser honesto con usted. The majority of videos that you see on on any type of website in the redes sociales or on YouTube, there are a lot of videos that are not from the United States. They are British English, okay? They are European English, right? It's like looking at videos. If you notice videos educacion, educacionales in Spanish, they're from Spain, from España, all right? So the accent, you can tell, although they say Spanish, we don't speak that way either, right? We don't say vosotros, y, right? vuestros, right? We don't speak like that, but they're speaking Spanish, right? Now, that is a good question, que dijo Evan, Elizabeth, right? You can say neither. You can use the American. I teach American English, okay, first. Secondly, you can hear it in other, in other uh, videos que dicen neither, también, neither, right? Neither, right? Which is European English. They use different words that sound just a little bit different. For example, when you say sir, no, ma, no me quiero salir el tema, sir, right? Sir. Sir. Ellos dicen sire, sire, right? <laughs> Or madame, madame, right? Or ma madam, right? We use miss, right? So very good, very good, Evelyn. You're going to see different pronunciations depending on the video. Usted va a ver diferentes pronunciaciones depende del origen del video. Si es inglés americano o es inglés británico. Okay? But very good. Thank okay. you, Evelyn, for participating. Thank you. Okay? So now, we have here... Remember, neither comes first. When you use the word neither, you automatically, automaticamente, ya está en forma negativa. Neither. Que cuando dice ni, ni, como decimos, ni yo, right? Um, let me see. Let's look at the last one. Um, Evelyn, ya que está ahí. Evelyn Elizabeth. Okay. Can you read the last one, please? I can't. I can't swim. I can't swim. I very good. Very good. I can't swim. I can swim. I can either. Neither can I. Very good. Excellent. Good I job. Good job. Either, Excellent. Neither can I. Very good. I can't swim. swim. I can't can either. I can't either. Neither can I. Neither can I. Very good. Remember, normally 99.9999% of the words que tienen dos vocales es una sola pronunciación. All right? Aquí es donde viene la fonética en uso. No van a decir neither, es neither. 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 Either. either. Okay? Either. Very good. Now, this is for the usage of neither and either. Now we're going to do some activities with the PowerPoint that I have for you. Okay. Let me share it with you. Okay, here it is. So this is what you saw on the video. Okay, aquí se lo he... I have already video. conjoined everything so you can have it, so you can view it in an easier way. Okay, let me move it aquí. Okay, we have here to and so. Remember, to and so are used in a positive way, in a positive way, in agreement, in acuerdo, in agreement. I am hungry. Yo tengo hambre. Y el otro dice, yo también. Yo también, right? So you are agreeing, right? You are like saying, I am too. So am I. Okay? I am happy. 
I am happy. Hello? I am too. I am too. Bye. So am yeah. I. Very good. Very good. Excellent. So Excellent. So you use the verb to be. Yo lo utilicé. <laughs> I am happy. So you go, you have to use it so in I. your answer also. Remember, when you use a verb in simple tense or yeah. base form, we use do. I love apple pie. I so do. do I. Or I do too. Right? So do too. Right. Let me see. I can. We have the auxiliary here. I can play chess. I, chess. I can yes. too. I can too. Okay. So can I. So can I. So um, I can play soccer. I can. So I can, can I. too. Okay. Very good. Remember, if I say it, you have to agree. Para hacer hacer el so y el uh, too, you have to agree. Tienen que estar de acuerdo, aunque diga no, yo no. Right. But for practice, you use it to agree. Okay, to agree. So that's how you do short answer. Respuestas cortas, short answers. You don't have yes. to repeat, you don't have to repeat everything again. Okay, in your short answer. Here on the side, I have the structure, the grammar structure, la estructura gramatical, the grammar structure, subject, auxiliary, and two. And it comes at the end, como pueden ver at the end, two at the end. Here, so at the beginning, at the beginning, okay, very good. And then the subject at the end. Now, review this, okay, neither and either, remember, we use these with either with the negative, like, como dijo la compañera allí, we add the negative, the not, right? I am not either, with either. Let me make the, déjeme poner esto. Okay. Right here, negative auxiliary here, not, with either. Here, we just make it positive. We do not add negative, pero automáticamente la palabra sí es en forma negativa. Aunque yo le not. Neither am I. Neither am I. Okay. Although it's in positive, it's expressing the same thing as I am not hungry. Yo no tengo hambre, ni yo tampoco. Right? Neither am I. Or ni yeah. yo. Okay. Great. We have the formula here. Here's the formula or the structure, the grammar. Here in this part. And we did this practice. Now, let's do, let's apply it. Ahora lo vamos a aplicar. Okay, number one. Um, Majori, ya que tiene el micrófono ahí, please, go ahead. Number one. They don't like. They don't like pasta. Neither do I. I don't eat it. Very good. Either. 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 Excellent. Very good. Eric Fernandez. Next one. La que sigue, donde se quedó la compañera. Okay. I can't hear you. Okay. Maria Jose, can you continue, please? He likes spicy food. So do I. I do too. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Oh, you see. Let me see. Eric, can you continue, please? Can't work today. Mm. Ah. Yeah. I can't work today. Neither I can can't. I. I can't work today. I can't either. Okay. <laughs> let me help you. Hold on. Go ahead. Okay. Repeat, Eric. Uh, I can't work today. Neither can I. I can't either. Very good. Excellent. Good job. Now, number four. Me, teacher. Okay. Can is me, teacher? Can is? Dina. Okay, Dina, go Dina. ahead. 
She is working eight hours. So I, so am I, I am two. Very good. Okay, very good. Notice here, she is. Aunque no es el M, it's the verb to she be. Is. Okay, ella está trabajando ocho horas. Yo también. Mm -hmm. So am I. I, I am too. Okay, aunque no esté el M. But remember, verb to be. Y este es present continuous, ¿verdad? Subject, verb yes. to be, and, okay. and then verb with ing. All right, so am I. I am too. All right. Too. Now. Dun, 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 dun. Teacher. Teacher. Yes. Uh, for example, when I speak in past, uh, I like to play soccer. I I did too. I do too. Si es en pasado. Okay, I liked to play soccer. Yeah, you can do it. I did too, right? I did, I did too. too. Right? I loved, I loved the movie. I loved it too, right? A mí también me gustó, right? Yeah, you can use it. But for purposes of the platform, we're going to use it in present, okay? But yes, Roberto, okay. all right? All you do is change the verb. That's todo lo que estamos haciendo. Change the verb to past tense, all right? You can even uh, you can even uh, use it in present continuous, right? If you're in the present right now, continuous, you can use it too, all right? In our future, I will work tomorrow. I will too. Okay, I will work tomorrow. Mañana trabajaré. Yo también. I will too. Okay, mm -hmm. you can use That's it like fine. that. Okay, yeah. thank you, Roberto. Yeah. All right, easy, dice Lili, yeah, easy, right? <laughs> In future, yeah, all right? Mm -hmm. I can even, uh, for, let me see, I will, I will work tomorrow. Bye, no más para acompañar ahí. In future, para que en el futuro, all right? Tomorrow, how will you respond that? I will too. Oh, ah, yeah. Or, or? So will I. Ah, vaya. So will I. ¿Eh? Once you know the structure, cuando ustedes ya saben la estructura, ya pueden jugar con ella. You can play with it. All right? Thank you, Roberto, por abrir ese, ese espacio. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay, right? thanks. Aquí les demostré que va más allá. Right? Very good. Excellent. Good, good. Excellent. Good participation. I like that. Right. Let me see. Okay. Maria loves salty food. Sin que yo escriba nada. Alguien me responde. So do I. Very I good. I do too. Very good. Very good. Because we're using a verb in simple simple tense, right? Or base form. It's not an auxiliary, so we use do. Right? Right? Very good. Para aquellos que tenían uh, duda, yo pienso I, que me quedó claro. Right? I hope okay. so. Right? I hope so. Now. I do too. I, I do too. All right. Very good. So do I, or I do too. Very good. Excellent. Teacher, uh, another question. Now, aquí viene ya lo complicado. All right. Uh, another question, teacher. Ah, okay. Uh, when the sentence is affirmative, but the, the answer is negative? Um, you're, not, you're not using it in, in, correctly, okay? You're not using the structure correctly then, okay? Now, then, entonces no estás utilizando, no vas a utilizar ni el so, ni el to. You can't. Because ninguno. You're not, ninguno, because you're not in agreement, okay? All right. All right. But let me see. Right. If I say, but un algo sencillo, all right? I like what? I like pizza otra vez. Just to give a simple, right? Pero la persona no está ni en agreement with me, right? The person doesn't, a eso se refiere, ¿verdad, Roberto? Right? Sí, sí. Yeah, yes. all right. So, ¿qué dijimos? Mm, 
No. No. O sea, a mí me gusta la pizza. Ni a mí me gusta. Ni a mí. It doesn't, it doesn't. Yeah. Right. Sí, ni a mí tampoco. Right. I don't like. Ah, very good. Entonces ahí uh -huh. la otra persona cambiaría y ya no sería la misma, ya no estaríamos viendo lo que es la esta parte. La de esto. Right. Exactamente. Uh -huh. right. Ya estaría fuera de esto. I don't like pizza. Ya la otra persona afirma que no. I don't like pizza. Oh, I don't like right. pizza. Pero ahí ya no estamos utilizando, ya estamos usando el, el eh, basic, basic English here. Right? Or, or, Um, beginner, I don't like pizza. I like pizza. I don't like pizza. He doesn't like pizza. So, it, but it's not using, we won't be using um, this so and to aquí. Okay? This is, will be totally contradictory. Totally contradictory. Okay, um, thanks. Although it's not, although it's not incorrect, right? No está incorrecto. But it's not the structure that we are uh, focusing on. But thank you. Thank you, Roberto. For asking again, no problem. Now, let's see. Tan -tan. Tan -tan. Ya no son oraciones chiquititas ni, ni sencillas, right? They're not. Let's look at them. Okay. Roberto, number one, please. I can't. Which Roberto? Roberto Adonai. Okay. I can't speak Chinese. Uh, I can't. Uh, I can't. I can't either. Neither can I. Very good. Excellent. Good job. Good job. All right. Very good. Now, what about number two? Hmm. What about number two? Mike doesn't watch soap operas. All right, soap operas. What are soap operas? Soap operas. Telenovelas. All right, very good. Yeah, novelas, right? Yes, that's what they're talking about. So poppers. Uh, I want, I want to, ya que estamos allí, I want to share something with you. What are these? ¿Y esto qué es? Right, novels, right. Hmm? Books. Books. Very good, excellent. Novels. Novels are books, okay, in English. But in Spanish, when we say novels, right, we're talking about the TV shows, right? What's coming on TV, like, yeah, yeah, the novel, right? But in English, they're called soap operas, soap operas, right? Soaps, or también for short, le llaman así, soaps, soaps. No jabones, porque también significa jabón, right? Soaps, but they call them soaps for TV, for the... For the shows, right? Eh, let me see. Okay. What about? So, what is number two? Neither do I. Very good. Neither do I. Neither do I. I don't either. Huh? I don't either. Excellent. Very good. So you're going to put neither do I. Right? Or I don't either. All right? I don't either. Very good. So now you have, let me see. Hmm. I'm thinking about. Either homework. No, no le voy a dejar tareas. Quiero que disfruten el fin de semana. I want you to enjoy the week. We will we can do number three and then the rest we will do them on Monday. Okay? All right. I was going to leave homework, but no. All right. I think you're doing a great job. You're doing a great job. Okay. So participation is great. Great, great advances. Number three, Hank 
is from California. Read it, please. Who wants to do me. it? Who wants to do it? Okay, me. Who's me? Who is me? Liliana. Huh? Is it Gladys Lily. or who is? Lily. Yeah. Okay. All right. I see Gladys. Is it Gladys? Emily? No, Lily. Okay. 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 Can... Okay. Uh, so am I. Okay. Let me see. Number two. Okay. Number three, right? Yeah. Okay. So am I. Very good. Or, or. Oh, I am two. <laughs> Ah, I am too. Very good. Okay. Aileen, Aileen Barrera? Yes. Okay. Number four. Number four. I love, I love to listen to rock music. I do too. So okay. do I. Excellent. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. Very good. Now, we are going to continue with five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten on Monday and be ready. That's the day I said, I'm not going to leave homework. Okay? I'm not going to leave homework. No deja de tarea ni nada. But on Monday, be prepared because you are going to give. A ustedes van a dar. You're going to give your own questions and another classmate has to answer. Okay? So, ustedes van a crear sus propias preguntas. Yeah, very good. Y así como usted la va a preguntar, la otra persona se la va a preguntar también. Y vice versa. In breakout rooms. ¿Cuántas, so, teacher? It's going to be at least... Five. Five. Because we're going to do this five on Monday. Five here that I showed you now, and then five of your own. Okay? So, mm -hmm. si ya la quieren tener listas, you can, pero estén preparados mm -hmm. para el lunes. No voy a estar como, oh, teacher, no las tengo. If you tell me, déjame tomar captura de pantalla. All right. Okay. I can see who's here. If you tell me Monday, teacher, I don't have them, lo voy a poner separado. I'm going to separate you. Okay? So, you can work with someone else. Teacher, teacher, about yeah? this, this, this topic. Yes, sir. About this topic. Yes, exactly. Okay. It's going to be, let me, okay. <clears throat> Do you see these? Okay, yo les dice aquí, one, two, three, four, and then Maria loves salty food. Okay. You're going to create five. Ustedes van a crear sus propias uh, statements. Mm -hmm. He likes spicy mm -hmm. food. I can't work today. And then your classmates. And I'm going to put you in groups. Voy a poner en pares o en groups. They're go you're going to answer, okay? Ya no sería conmigo, sino sería entre ustedes. It will be a month. Okay. Okay? Okay. Okay, class. Thank you for, for being attentive and participating always. And I see you on Monday. Have a great weekend. Take care. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Happy All working. Right. All right, you too. Thank you, everybody. Bye. Okay, bye-bye. Good night, teacher. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night, Eric. Good night. Good night, everyone. Bye. See you Monday. Uh, Monday. All right? Bonito. <laughs> okay. Good night, Mario. Yeah, we saw, your, <laughs> we saw your little cat. We saw your little cat. Uh, we saw your cat. Yeah, it's a beautiful cat. I have, I have <laughs> two cats. Oh yeah! Wow. <laughs> maybe, maybe on Monday you can introduce them to the class, right? And get... okay. <laughs> <laughs> you take care. Good night, everyone. Bye. Good night. So can I. So can I. <laughs> so can bye. I. Bye.